Hello guys, welcome back. I'm Julian. I'm here to do my reaction video for season three, episode one, season three premiere for Shira and the Princesses of Power. This time, the title of the episode is The Price of Power. And we are here, we're back, and we are most definitely ready for season three of Shira. I have said, by the way, that I was going to go between Shira and and Harley Quinn and going back and forth between the seasons. But uh, season two of She-Ra uh, and season three, for some reason, are split on Netflix. And as much as I have been told, they were intended as a one season. Because definitely season uh, episode seven of the previous season did not feel like a season finale at all. So I decided, you know what? Let's just watch the remaining six episodes of season uh, three for season three, which allegedly was intended to be like an entire season. So we're going to do that. We're going to watch the six remaining episodes of season three. Not right now, but like we're going to watch them, uh, you know, progressively, uh, which shouldn't take us that long since it's only six episodes. Uh, today we're going to watch two um, and yeah, I'm very, 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 very excited because I love Shira. I love how gay it is. I love Kat Katradora. Is that the ship name? Katradora? I love them. They are everything to me and I just want them to freaking explore, you know, their love. But like, I, I feel like it's not time for them yet, but I want it to happen already. You know, so anyways, <laughs> hello, how are you guys? Anyways, we're going to watch, uh, we got to watch this episode um, and uh, see what's going to happen. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy. I hope you guys like it. hope you guys continue supporting for more. Thumbs up if you love Shira and the Princesses of Power. Subscribe, comment, hit the notification bell. Uncut reaction is always posted first on Patreon in case you guys want to check that out. Link as always will be on the description down below for now that's about it i hope you guys enjoy hope you guys like it and without further ado let's just begin with season three episode one the season three premiere technically of shira and the princesses of power here we go <laughs> oh yes she escaped Shadow Weaver? Is this good? Turning darkness to light. No one sleeps until we figure out how Shadow Weaver got into the castle. This is your prison? Well, technically, it's the spare room. It's not as adequate as a holding cell. You remove the cushions. How terrible of you, you sadistic people! <laughs> I know Shadow Weaver. I know her tricks. I need to be there for the interrogation. I'm the only one who can- Shadow Weaver is dangerous. I will not let that woman near you. If the queen would just listen to me- Adora, maybe this is for the best. Shadow Weaver raised you. She knows how to get in your head. Exactly, I thank you. can't risk her manipulating you. That won't happen. <laughs> You're gonna try to sneak in, aren't you? Of course. What? No! Okay, can you help me, guys? No! <laughs> Sweet, talented Micah. <gasps> not speak his name. I'm not the one who got him killed. Ooh! I will only speak to Adora. Of course you would. But it doesn't matter what I do. I don't get to win. Oh, don't think Shadow that... Shadow was right. Oh. She's not right! I can save you! You no. really care, don't you? Yes! Of course I care! You're my friend. Oh, you're everything to me. I love her. Are you stupid? I said leave. Guards! She wants to push you away. So s clear as day. I need to know if she's truly changed. If the woman who raised me still has some good deep down inside her. We trust you, but we won't let you face her alone. Now, what do you need us to do? Just get her inside. <laughs> oh, her powers. You're dying, aren't you? Hey, so who wants to see a magic <laughs> trick? 
<gasps> Dora. Listen up, lady. If you do anything to hurt Adora. Glimmer. I've got this. <laughs> Glimmer. <laughs> what, what? What's happening to you? I am dying, Adora. You're lying. Something. A great man! But I won't let you suffer like this. I'm going to heal you, Shadow Weaver. Adora, you don't know how to heal. I can't hey, figure it out. I'm bluffing. Shut up. Out. She'll die if I don't. Maybe I can help. What? I was once a teacher of magic and mystical. I trained your father, Princess Thor. I don't First, know. You must trust me. That's the thing. We don't. Stop lying for once and trust me with the truth. Of course she's gonna say yes. We don't have a moment to spare. We need Catra! It is meaningless. I'm not going to squander troops on a lifeless wasteland. This discussion is over. There must be peace in your mind if you are to heal. Come closer and allow me to help you. Mm. Oh shit! Oh Adora. shit! You want the truth? I have nowhere left to go. I want to take them down. And helping you is the best way to do it. He intends to bring the rest of the Horde's armies through this portal. There's more of the Horde? A force so large you cannot even comprehend it. Damn it! You think he's getting close to finishing this portal machine now? Because he has something he didn't have before. That's why she's been after all that first one's tech. Hordak succeeded once before. Years ago, he opened a portal. And in that, a child came through. Adora, you were brought through a portal from another world. Oh my god! What? Leave her alone! You're lying! Do you think just anyone could bring a dying woman back to life? Oh, Not no. quite the Don't listen to her, Adora. I mean, it makes sense, right? She has to go away with Taylor Swift right now. Answer me! It is true. You are not of Etheria. Oh, shit. Why didn't you tell me? You didn't ask. Explain. This is the portal that you came through, Adora. Oh, shit. The Horde stole you, turned you into a soldier for their war. The first ones came from beyond the stars. They made the sword onto one of their <gasps> own kind. I'm... I'm a first one? You Attempting to open one now would have devastating consequences. Oh, damn it. Mara, you! Don't I get a choice? No, this is your destiny. You Fuck you! Aura, where are you going? I'm going to follow the message from Mara. I know it's incredibly dangerous, but this is my choice. You don't have to come with me. Of course we're going with you. Wait, well, is she gonna be sent? Or I think she's gonna be sent because because of a trapta? I want you all to watch and learn. This is what happens to failures. Oh. You're the failure. Woo! All you know how to do is hide in your lab. Oh Maybe that's shit! Why you can't. There has been a change of plan. Oh really? I saved your life. You're welcome. <laughs> You are being sent to retrieve first one's tech for in the Crimson Waste. Oh, the Saltmates meets waste? again. It's a total dead zone. Nothing survives out there. Exactly. Well, fuck you. Everything she said is still true. Okay, guys, so that was the end of Season 3, Episode 1 of Shira and the Princesses of Power. Okay, so... Things are getting very interesting in this episode. Uh, Ad Adora. I mean, Shadow Weaver. We know, we knew that she uh, escaped and went to see Adora, right? Uh, thankfully, it seems that she did not intend to kill Adora because she has... Some lingering feelings about her, you know, because she has raised her as a child. And she might 
deep, 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 deep down have a heart? Who will have known? <laughs> but the thing is that um, Shira, I mean, Adora, wanted to talk to her. And Shadow Weaver wanted to talk to her as well. And she needs to gain... At this moment, I do believe that everything that Shadow Weaver is saying is true. It's true. Why? Because she needs to be sure that she has Adora's trust. This is important key for whatever plan she's having. I don't know if it's for her own good, for the... I mean, I don't. I, she's not doing it for the great, for the greater good, or for the you know, just to end Hordak because what what he's about to do to Ethereum. No, she is doing it out of selfish selfishness because Adora. I mean, Catra betrayed her, and also uh, Hordak cast her aside, and all of that. So she's pissed, and she has done this in the past. And uh, that's her goal now. But with someone that turns sides, you know, uh, at any given moment, can you really truly trust them? Can we truly trust Shadow Weaver? I don't think we can. I don't think Adora should. I do feel that for the moment, she might said a lot of very you know she might have a lot of really good intel but other than that I really don't think that um, uh, she's on our side a hundred percent I really don't think so um, but we find out that Adora was kidnapped from another universe another another earth another whatever um, and that she's actually she comes she's a descendant well I think that if we think about it it kind of makes sense because of course if everything responds to her as you know um, all the first ones tech respond to her the sore responds to her she knows the first ones uh, language and all of that of course the natural answer will be Oh, she's the first one, right? So she is. But now she's in this type of like, I need to understand my past. And it's true. You need to understand where you came from to know where you're going to. Uh, I don't know. I think it's a saying, but I'm not sure if that's how you say it. (laughs) Uh, But that means that now she is on a quest to find out who she truly is and and what her true mission is. Now, the Light Hope is like, oh, shit's starting again. You know, Mara also started to question these things when she found out that she was the first one and she cut all communication with the first one's and there's a reason why, you know. So, what did Mara was kidnapped, left behind? What what was the deal with her? How she came into Etheria? Was she the last one of the first ones on Etheria? I don't know. But the thing is that uh, there's a reason. There must be a reason. There must be a reason why Light Hope pointed it out. And also the fact is that. Um, if if Light Hope as a system, as an AI, is making the same mistakes, it's probably because she's programmed that way. Uh, but I feel like in some capacity she's understanding from her mistakes, hopefully. But everything is unclear right now on who to trust, who to believe. Everything is just so confusing. And now, the soulmates... You know, they they were not together in this episode. But the soulmates are going and heading into the same direction. uh, To the... um, Some some part that is a wasteland or something like that. They're going. uh, And I'm very happy and excited about it. Because I want to see 
Katra and Adora interact and now knowing that they're different and like they trust each other regardless of what they say they trust each other they know each other and I want to see you know I, I want to see the progression of their relationship call me gay but that's what I want and also I am queer so you can call me gay I will not be offended anyways that's it um I love the episode. Can't okay, no, wait to the next one, uh, which I'm going to watch right now. Uh, and I hope you guys enjoy and continue supporting for more because I will be doing more reaction videos for more things. <laughs> I'm so stupid. I'm going to react to more episodes of Shira. I, I'm going to try to do a binge, though, of the final four episodes of season three just so we can, you know, ha have the full story. And I don't know, will you guys like me to jump back into Harley Quinn or should I just finish Shira fully and then jump into Harley Quinn again? Hmm. Okay, we'll figure it out. I hope you guys enjoy. I hope you guys liked it. I hope you guys continue supporting for more. Thumbs up if you love Shira and the Princesses of Power. Subscribe, comment, hit the notification bell. Uncut reaction is always supposed to first on Patreon. Go check it out. Link in the description down below. Extend the version there for now that's about it hope you guys enjoy hope you guys liked it and that's it i'll see you guys next time for more reaction videos for shira and the princesses of power that's it i'll see you guys next time Mwah. bye